Hey YouTube, apologize for it being a while since the last video. I'm still having some issues uploading new videos after editing to YouTube. Uh, more likely it's due to the length of this video I was trying to put out. Uh, but it's something I'll be working on. We'll pull it back, do some reshoots, re-edit, and put it out soon. Because it was a project I really enjoyed. It was making fishing weights from stones to eliminate the use of lead weights in our environment. And it was a, I really enjoyed making this project, so I'm really excited about getting it out there and showing people how it came out. But I'll be to be coming up in a future video. I'm not sure how good this is showing up on the camera with the my lighting in here, but basically I epoxied a wired eye for a uh, wire that I made into an eye from some upcycled wire I had around the house. But I also wanted to show the finished result of the wrenches that I, uh, from the rush remover video. A lot of people were interested in what they would look like after painting. And I'm pretty happy with them. This is some of them from the project. Uh, I have a total of eight I did. Uh, these wrenches has been around a long time. My father was a plumber. His father worked in the plumbing field too. So... A lot of these wrenches are way older than I am, and I'm very happy to have them refinished where they'll be able to last another 30, 40 years before they have to be cleaned off and painted again. Just, I kind of hope I'm not the one who has to do that. But, quick video I wanted to do today was on our homemade laundry soap we do. There's plenty of videos out there on it. Plenty of different variations of the recipe. This is what we use. We find it helps. It's a lot cheaper than store-bought laundry detergent, which most of what you're paying for is water and or uh, salt they use for spacer in, in the powder forms. This is a powder mixture that we use. Uh, it also eliminates a lot of the dyes and perfumes that are in a lot of the store-bought laundry detergents which helps me out a lot I have sensitive sensitive skin uh, a lot of a lot of the dyes and, and other chemicals that's in the laundry detergents irritates my skin a lot and it's just not healthy especially in the summertime with you know from heat rashes and stuff caused by the dyes we find this helps a lot and also expense uh, we may, I'm making a half batch today all these materials you can pick up at your local big box store, Walmart for example, is the one we use. Uh, for a single batch would be a box of Arm & Hammer Laundry Boost Super Washing Soda. The same stuff I used in the electrolysis rust removal video. Stuff has many uses around the house. Also a four pound box of baking soda. Uh, depending on your area and how it's packaged you may have to get multiple small boxes or I've seen it also in a large 10 pound bag and you'll just have to use four pounds of it to make a single batch we also use borax detergent booster one box of this uh, this also like baking soda and the super washing powder has many other uses in the homestead including as a flux for blacksmithing and welding purposes may or may not do a video on that in the future kind of been playing around with that uh, we use currently we're using one box of Zolt laundry flakes but in the past we have used laundry bar we would use two bars and we would grate them with a cheese grater and put that in the batch for a single batch it was a double batch of course we would used four bars we'd also for a single batch we use half a container of oxyclean this is the normal three pound container and then we use half a container of Arm & Hanna Scent Sensations now this is optional uh, you do not have to use this we just use this to add a little bit of scent to the laundry detergent, not much. 
and we find a half a container for a single batch does not add too much perfumes to the uh, laundry detergent where it irritates my sensitive skin now to make a double batch you would simply use one whole container of oxyclean one whole container of the uh, clean the clean sensations crystals two boxes of borax two boxes of the four pound baking soda or eight pounds of baking soda depending on your packaging two boxes of the super washing soda and two boxes of the laundry flakes or four bars of the laundry bar four bars of the laundry soap grated with a cheese grater or food processor or however you want to do that mixing of the soap is real easy all we do we have a five gallon bucket that I use for the uh, laundry soap and this is straight up well especially seeing as how everything's already measured out I have a half of a container of oxyclean already because I've made a half batch I think it was three months ago this stuff tends to last me and my wife two to three months between you know for a single batch and even longer for a double batch uh, and just pour all the ingredients in you can either store this with a large spoon or like I prefer to do I will take it outside and between two buckets just pour it back and forth until it's well mixed I highly recommend if you're going to do that technique to do it outside because there will be a fine layer of powder that's going to escape in the air and it'll, your wife will yell at you <laughs> trust me from experience now the amount we use the oxyclean comes with this little scoop and we use one half of the scoop for a large load of clothes and we find this you know one half of this scoop to this is almost half of a five gallon container the this amount lasts us two to three months easily and that's with heavy laundry uh, needs two or three loads every couple of days large loads you know no problem now for stain removal we take some of the uh, mixture we mix it with a little water to make a paste rub it on the material like for work shirts getting grease out it works great blue jeans denim it also works great with that mix it you know rub that paste in then put it in normal laundry and it normally takes the stain right out I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Wanted to show more of a detail of the pipe wrenches. I realized after I shot the opening scene that I didn't really show them too much. But I'm real happy with the results of the paint and the rest removal. Uh, this one in particular, this Pipe Master pipe wrench. I've done some research I can't even find you know anything made of this type anymore I don't have an idea how old it is but I'm real happy with the results of it and all the other pipe wrenches too and might be able to get a better shot of my fishing weight I'm trying to get where you can see the eyelid I installed and epoxy on this rock this will be coming up in the future video this was the video I was planning on doing but having trouble editing but again, thanks for watching.